This second video for the Madison College Banjo 2 Seeger Style class is going to be about the song that we started to learn in the last five minutes of our first class um, called New River Train. We'll go over it, of course, in much more detail next week. But here's a video for it. So, New River Train. I'll play sort of a simple version of it, um, and then I'll teach you how I've done it. So, it contains the, those three chords, a C, an F, and a G7, in the C tuning. So it's, um, um, sounds like this. I'll do it kind of slowly. I'm riding on that new river train, riding on that new river train. It's the same old train that brought me here, soon gonna carry me again. for as many verses as you want to make up. Um, so it starts out with the, the C chord. I'm riding on that new river train. I'm riding on that new river. And then it switches to G7. Train. It's the... And then it switches back to C. Same old train that... And on the word brought, it goes up to, to F. Brought me here and down to G or G7. Soon gonna carry me up back to C. Gain. And it's repeated, the same structure is repeated for each verse. And here again. I'm riding on that new river train. I'm riding on that new river train. G7. It's the same old. But you can uh, vary what you're you're playing to make it more interesting. You could you can play the simple bum ditty, just um, play along and, and sing with that. If you've got that down fine, you can add the ver um, that C your lick. You can add that that C your lick even like in different chords, like uh, when you're in um, G7 like this, you can continue to do that that hammer on in the same string. other things that you can do is with that um, you can do a cool little uh, little lick in the uh, the C chord where you um, it sounds like this in order to do that what you have to do is lay your index finger down over both of the uh, the first and second strings on the first fret that and then and then do a little hammer on from the first fret first string up to the second fret like that and another lick that the like the more advanced we get you know the more uh, complicated the uh, the licks get you could do, uh, you know, something like this. That's not too hard. Or, or just 
a simple hammer on without going like this. You just do. And then you can get really complicated by doing stuff like this. And that's just, I, I, I'm just up picking with my right hand if I'm in the G chord. And I'm, and I'm going to switch back up to a C chord. I do open open third string and then second fret and then third fret and then open second string and then you add Transitioning from the uh, G7 to the C chord. And then a really complicated thing, if you're, if you got everything down really well, you can learn a new form, a new um, way to play an F chord. It's called a bar chord, B-A-R-R-E, where you lay your finger across all of the strings on the fifth fret, like that. And then you play, and then you, you, you do that with your index finger, and then you put the middle, your ring finger on the um, sixth fret, second string, and then the, the pinky on the seventh fret, first string. It should sound like that. It's actually the same <clears throat> chord as a, as a C, but you're going up the neck, and you ha your your um, index finger kind of serves as a capo almost. You move it all around the neck. It's a really really good thing to learn. It'll be very useful down the line. But with with this kind of song, you you could do something like this. You do this, this sort of a walk up when you're going from C to F. It's the same old train that brought me here Soon gonna carry me again You really have to be able to switch chords very quickly in order to do that right, but if you're feeling up to it, by all means do it. So I'll, I'll uh, play um, New River Train up to speed and I'll um, fancy it up with these kinds of various licks and see what else I can come up with. I'm riding on that new river train Riding on that new river train It's the same old train that brought me here Soon gonna carry me again Darling, you can't love one Darling, you can't love one You can't love one and have any fun Darling, you can't love one
can love eight. That's one way to play it. Right? See you next week.